let's see what kind of bright light we got here oh nice a little LED workstation light recent birthday present anyway I'm gonna follow up on that uh, uh, question we had about uh, bushel weight on grain to see if uh, the rolling method here gives a heavier sample than uh, the scraping method so here we go rolling it off nice and level the way I've done it for years I'm guessing this is going to be about a 390 I shouldn't even trust my memory some of this year's wheat anyway it's pretty good weight ruler down there so nothing more comes off right about about like that so we weigh that make sure the scale's empty So, we got 350, 390, so it's not quite 390, but it's more than 380. Gonna call that 385. All right then. So how do we do this? We dump the wheat back in here, overfill it. Get it really over full. spill any for the mice all right now to scrape it off uh, how about a vintage yardstick oh it's got metric on it too can't be that old link hardware anyway let's do the scrape we'll do one I can see it left a crater right there so obviously <clears throat> it's going to be lighter but for the sake of curiosity hmm. well so 370 something about 370 you might call it 371 if you were being liberal so <clears throat> it appears the rolling method definitely gives you a heavier sample 371 okay well, that's our little experiment here. Just out of curiosity, which wheat was that? October 4th, NW24. Right. That would be some of the last wheat I combined. So, it would be some of the lightest. Anyway, that's about all the experimenting we have for today.
I was actually going to do a Mercury video today. I just got back from a good run down the grid road and a little bit of highway. Well, two miles actually. But the weather did not cooperate. It clouded over, cold and windy, so uh, nobody wants to see a video like that. So better luck next time. It's October the 13th, so got a couple of weeks left on the license before it expires. So hopefully we'll get her down the road and a little bit of video on a nice day. So uh, in the meantime, stay tuned for more from Roosty Six.